Uh, hi, everybody out there on YouTube. Because now we're streaming YouTube. It is Miss Candy Vlog, where candy is always in mode so that you will stand to know wherever I go. Hit the little button and follow or subscribe. Yes, I am live streaming right now on seven platforms. I've done it on nine. Tonight we're doing it on seven with gravy.live into YouTube. Over here I have Instagram. Hello, Avery Cabello and Lee Lee Bond. And I have Live Me. And I have I Go. And I have Periscope. We're all starting Periscope. Yes. And then I have Pocket Guide Live. And then I have Live Star. Yes. So if everybody on these platforms right over here wants to see the real DLT, go over to gravy.live now because I won't be able to look at all of you. Oh, yes. This is a seven stream scope. Yes. All that just to get ready to tee it up and tee it off. Here we go. Who's in the chat tonight? Who's in the chat? All right. Let's see. Gigi Garcia's here and Lexi's here and Steve from Florida and everybody else who's hiding over here and everybody over here on in live streaming. Okay. So let me give you the tea on me, Cam Z. Yes. Today, an article came out. Let me show you. Uh, let me share my screen. I never know how to do this. I feel so stupid all the time. Crazy cocos and Hello, nobody in the freebies. Today, today, can you see this? Can you see this? Can you today, see this? can you see this? Today, an article came out. Today, an article came out. I gave a, um, an I gave a, an to a mobile beat magazine, which is mobile beat magazine, which is DJ for DJs. And I am, and I am, they call it lessons, lessons from, from live streaming, streaming diva. diva. Candy, Candy Bunny Bunch shares, shares live, live videos, videos at Seth secrets. secrets. So it's a three page article. You believe they gave me three pages? Three pages. Wow. So, did you get to see that? Everybody in the chat? I don't know if you got to see that. Hope you got to see that. Yeah, I wanted, to, wanted you to see that. Hold on a minute. Let me stop sharing my screen. I'm glad you see it. Okay, great. And Gravy, let me let you know my makeup looks really good tonight, so you're doing something really good with your technology and your filters. Yes! Thank you so much over here. Thank you for the blah, 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 blah. For the one junior. Um, so I have figured out, uh, after some trial and error, if you want to stay in the know wherever I go, I am going to stream Wednesday nights at 8 o'clock on Gravy.live. Hello, Patricia A. Mary. Hello, you're totally new here. Welcome to Gravy. Thanks for coming over. Yes. Yay. Um, as SAG and AFTRO notifies me that their offices are closed tomorrow. Anyway, let me tell you. So I figured out Wednesday nights I'm going to do a candy show. I'm going to do it at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Gravy.live. Gravy.live. And uh, Sunday nights at 8 o'clock, I'm going to do mental health chats called Saved by a Supermodel, Beating the Blues, over here on Gravy Live. Come on over, come on down to the pod, as the NXS song goes, and um, join me here on Gravy.Live. Let me give you a walkthrough for Gravy.Live, which is a really clean, great, interactive platform. Hey, Juan Chavez, that has a lot of great features. Over here, the blue button, go ahead and click the follow, 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 follow button so you can stand in wherever I go. I have a lot of things going on. I got stuff going on that I didn't know about last week, okay? If you want to stay in the know wherever I go, go ahead and click that follow button. If you want to stay in close contact with me and get entitled to private shows and private chats, go ahead and click the red join button. Be part of my candy crew, okay? Yeah, I'm a girl from Jersey. I got the candy crew like this. Uh-huh. And then over here on the bottom, we have the contribute button. No, 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 no. I buy candy. I buy lots of candy. As a matter of fact, tonight I have three candies. Yes, I'm saying three, like the guy from the Tootsie Roll Pop commercial, the owl. What if we go mental on Wednesdays and we want candy on Sundays? I I don't think that's funny, Steve, because I mental illness is something I do take seriously. So if you um, are having a, a hard time on Wednesday, what I suggest you do is you find me and you talk to me because I want to talk you down from whatever is going on because there are a lot of people who can make some really bad choices and won't be able to wait till Sunday. So please, if you, if you are going through something, please get help. 
if that's reaching out to me, if that's reaching out to somebody, just reach out. Please don't, please don't go into that darkness, that dark hole, okay? Because there's light at the end of the tunnel. There is so many wonderful things that are in store for you, especially in 2018. So <clears throat> please, that, um, yeah. Oh, 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 and then if you want to ask a question, there's a blue button right there. I, 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 I. Yes! So I have candy for you. I have Valentine's Day candy. The Valentine's Day candy was out before Christmas, believe it or not. I have a photo of it. Uh, I took Christmas Eve, there was candy on the shelves for Valentine's Day. And what I did was I bought some so that I could give it to you. Hi, Jimbo, thanks for being here. Hello, crazy. Hello, everybody over here on all these lovely apps. Please go over to gravy.live. It is not a URL, it is not an app, it is URL, gravy.live, and go ahead. Follow, 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 follow me. Come talk candy because they're, um, they're going to see the candy up close. So I bought Valentine candy. Um, I'm going to share this Valentine candy with you tonight. Let me take a drink. I'm drinking from my Ms. Candy Blog cup because how else can I drink water? Hello. So I have three candies I want to share with you tonight. I think I know the order I should go in, but let me show them to you. My live streaming audience has already gotten a preview. Yeah. The first candy I'm going to show you is the Nestle Crunch Hearts. Nestle Crunch Hearts. Nestle Crunch Hearts. These hearts are seasonal, and if you know me, I am crazy with the seasonal because there's a different ratio to chocolate and and in and uh. Filling. So I'm going to look at the ratios there. I hope this is an invasion of secrets with question. <laughs> Sorry, not, not for this conversation. And, and that information is not yet ready to be revealed. I'm currently searching. If you know anyone over here on Gravy.Live or YouTube, I'm currently searching for baby drag queens and kings. If you know anybody, could you direct them my way? I'm working on something right now. None of the details have been shared. I cannot share any of the details because they are currently in the works. And I'm currently working with my business partner and legal team on a project for that. So if you are, have questions about baby drag queens, I cannot answer them. I have no more further information than what I've shared with you already on DMs on Instagram. But if you know any baby drag queens, send them my way. Yes! All drags, all locations. That's the tea with that. Then I have this candy. Oh, yes! It's a Lindor Lint Truffle. Big, big, big Lint. Candy! Yeah, isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. I have that. Then I have <clears throat> the seasonal only made just for Valentine's Day. Triple chocolate M&Ms. Yes! And I found these, I was so excited because my husband was in love with the double chocolate ones they did two Christmases ago. Now they have triple chocolate. Yeah! So, what candy do you want to see tonight? Let's take a poll here over here. What candy do you want to see? Nestle Heart. Oh, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. What was first? Nestle Heart. Lint ball or M triple chocolate M and M's. Ready? Vote, baby, vote. Vote, baby, vote. Vote, baby, vote. What candy do you want to see? Someone voted for the lint ball. They want to see the lint ball. Somebody wants to see Nessie Park. Ooh, now it's split. We have three votes and one person going, ooh, now it's going up and down. Ooh, I'm so excited. 25% want Nessie Hearts. 50% want lint ball. 25% want triple chocolate M&Ms. Where's my baby wipes? I need to wipe my hands because I'm OCD and a drum, drum, drum. Oh, we have five. Oh, everybody wants to see the lint ball. Look at that. I thought everybody would want to see the M&Ms. All right. Okay. I know what order I'm going in. Here we go, kids. <clears throat> and the pull, and the pull. So the reason I do this thing, just so, in case you've never seen me do this before, you don't know who the heck I am. I am Ms. Candy Blog. I am a candy YouTuber and a candy live streamer. Currently live streaming on seven platforms at the same time right now. 
And I came up with this idea of this character called Ms. Candy Blog because I was really, really, really miserable. And I wanted to be happy. And I wanted to bring happiness to other people. And I thought, how can I do that? Okay, well, I like candy. I can talk about candy for a really, really, really long time. So let me talk about candy and marry it with fashion and beauty, which is why I have this. And I actually found a ring. Look, look, it looks just like a bonbon on my head. Yes. And this thing is a candy on my head. Yes. And when I show up in person, guess what I wear? I wear candy couture that I designed. Yes. So I do this little show so that you stay in the know and don't have to waste your money or your calories on candy. And I'm not here to eat the candy, okay? I'm not here to eat the candy, I swear. I'm here to taste the candy, touch the candy, tell you what it smells like, feels like, tastes like. Is it worth your time? Is it worth your calories? Is it worth your money? I'm spending my money. You don't spend your money, okay? Okay, okay, okay. So the first candy <clears throat> that we're looking at tonight, it's going to be the Nestle Crunch. And the reason I look at Nestle Crunch Hearts is I consider this candy seasonal, meaning it comes out for the holiday. The holiday candy is the freshest candy on the shelf because they just created it solely for the purpose of the holiday, which means you know this is brand new and hasn't been sitting around, okay? The other thing about the seasonal candy is they changed the proportion of chocolate to filling ratio. Hi, Patricia. And these candies are the best. Just saying, hey, that's cool. Awesome, 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 awesome. The, I'm really excited to try these. Why? Because the bells they did for Christmas was so crunchy and so good, they released it only at Target. And guess what? Target sold out of it very quickly. So I would have to go from Target to Target to Target to Target to Target. And you know I did. To find them, the bells, it was very hard to find them. So my mouth is watering thinking about how amazed bowls these are going to be. We're going to compare this seasonal with a standard Nestle Crunch Mini. This is a Nestle Crunch Mini Bar. And I have a theory that there's more crunchies per ratio in this than there is in this. I also have a theory that this is going to be fresher than this. Let's open it up and chit 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 ch check it out. Now, the reason I love doing this on gravy.live so I can get right up in your face, face, face. I need, I need face, beauty face. It's okay. Watch my body go inside. Everyone keeps looking at me. You know, I, anyway, this is a RuPaul song. I'm singing to you right now. Whatever I'm doing, talking it to you. Okay. Okay. So here's the Nestle. Oops. Here's the, what is, yes, scientific. Yes, weird science. Oh. Here's the Nestle Crunch Bar. It rips down. I just did my nails for you. I hope you appreciate it. They're so, yeah, they're pink. Of course, they're pink. Rip. Ooh, yeah. That, that is not considered bloom, okay? A process happens when the fats separate and the chocolate becomes white. And that white stuff is called bloom, which changes the taste the texture of the chocolate doesn't hurt you. It just changes the whole process because like Patricia said, it's science. So this is not bloom per se, but what it is is not attractive candy. This is not pretty to look at. Whoops, which way do I turn it? This is not so pretty to look at. And mm, that doesn't look so yummy to you. Does it look yummy to you? Does it look any way yummy to you? Put a one in the chat if you think this looks good. Put a one in the chat if you think this, look, this looks yummy. One in the chat, one in the chat, one chat. Yummy, 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 yummy. No one thinks it's yummy. No one thinks it's yummy. Nobody thinks it's yummy over here. Do you believe that? I'm talking to everybody through my arm. Okay, so here is what the crunch crunches look like on this bar. There's the crunch, okay? But from the side, you don't see the crunch. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this for you so you can see what this looks like. Yeah, right? You'd be tempted to throw it out. This is what it looks like inside. Okay, it doesn't look like anything great. I know how people are like, ooh, that looks so good. But does this really look that good to you? I don't know. I don't think so. This is what it looks like over here out on gravy.live. So come on over to the party. It looks old. Exactly. Exactly. Where's my baby wipe? Now, let's look at the Nestle Crunches. 
of all, they're a heck of a lot prettier to look at in the wrapper. That's first. And they have this cute little bird. And they have these heart, flower hearts and stuff like that. Okay, so it's prettier to look at. I like the wrapping better. It's also going to cost you more for this than those little crunches, which are really hard to find. Not everybody carries Nestle Crunch. There are supermarket chains and stores that do not carry Nestle Crunch. Seriously, look, check it out. You will see I am right. You cannot find it in Walmart. You can't find it in the supermarket. You got to find the Nestle Crunch bar and see. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Okay, it's a whole thing. Ripping it down, ripping it down. No, it's not going to rip down. Oh, it's not going to. Oh, oh. How many times did I have to do that to open it? Okay, seriously. Wow, my mouth's watering. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Okay, they come in three colors. They come in three colors. Uh, silver, heart, red, heart, and purple, not to be confused with Wounded Warriors, heart. They're a heck of a lot prettier than this. And I wonder the ounces. This doesn't tell me the ounces on this individual one, but I'm wondering if probably two of these equals one of those. You want to bet? You want to bet? So let's open it up. I'm going to open up the purple one because I, okay, if it's a secret, I don't know if you think it's a secret, but I like purple. And purple's the color of 2018, interestingly enough. So here we go. I'm going to open it up so you can see it. Maybe not. Here's what it looks like. Here's what it looks like. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Hi, John Fontana. You're you're from Phoenix. Very, we're totally melting around. Yeah. Seriously, you're not kidding even. So we have this. We have this. Let's look at the front of this heart. Ready? Much better. Because like, that's much better. Here's the front of it. This is pretty, okay? This is a pretty candy. It's got these lines in it. Look how nice it is. This has lines in it too. Here's what these lines look like. So just to compare, okay? Just compare. They both came out of the wrapper. This is what they look like coming out of the wrapper. You tell me what you want to eat. I know what I want to eat. Looks like it has chicken pox on the bottom. Yeah! Yeah, you know what I'm curious though? See how we saw these on the back? Look at those, those are big pieces of rice. These are not as big, okay? Big pieces of rice, smaller pieces of rice. And you know, when you wanna talk about smaller pieces of rice, if you, look, if you talk about a crackle bar, crackle bars are very, very, very tiny crisps. It's not a lot of crunch. So I like a Nestle Crunch better than a crackle. Even though I know Nestle does things that people don't like with palm oil in the environment. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. All right, I, I wanna try and break this heart so we can see inside of it. Ooh, it let me do it. Ha ha, yeah. <laughs> One fantago. Hello. How you doing? Here's what it looks like inside this chocolate bar. Thank you so much for the fans. Yo, Harper over here. I'm on, uh, I'm on Gravy over here. Back in Sherlock. Dark Angel. How you doing? Tweet to the W Golden Hour. Hi, everybody. So this is the Nestle Crunch Heart. And this is the Nestle Crunch Bar. Okay, which one do you want to eat? Put a, which one do you want to eat? Let's see, which one, which one's more interesting to you? You want bar, heart, ready? You want neither, Steve wants neither. But Steve, did you have pizza tonight? Steve, did you have pizza tonight? Steve, pizza? How was the pizza? Heart, bar. Heart, bar. Heart, bar. All right, I'm going to eat the heart while you all talk.
I like to suck the chocolate first. That's just how I, I eat it. The faster the chocolate melts when it, the faster when you touch your tongue to the chocolate and you get the flavor, it's a better quality chocolate. I'm getting to the crunchies right now. I'm gonna end the bowl. Oh, a little hint of salt. A hint of salt there. Really creamy, really robust flavor. Very, the flavor's just exploding. It's melts across your tongue, covers your entire palate. Amazing mouth feel. You're, it's a total sensory experience because of the feel of it against your mouth. Yes, it sounds a, a hit wrong, but but there's salt in the chocolate. There is, just like there's uh, salt in Diet Coke. Okay, now this one, take a little bite. Grainy, not smooth. It almost actually feels a little painful against your palate because the crunches, the crunches are hitting up against the top of your mouth. So it's not, it's almost as if the, um, they placed the crunches on the bottom more of this. And with this, they permeated throughout the crunches because look at that. Look at the crunch ratio to chocolate. It takes a whole width of the bar. So I don't know about you, but where'd they go? What'd I do with them? Oh my God. The hearts. Where did they go? What the? What? I don't know where the hearts went, but um, <laughs> they were so good. They walked away. They said, lady, what the heck did I do with the hearts? Oh, there they are. I just found them. I need somebody to wrangle my candy for me. These are, um, I prefer these. They went back to Target. These didn't actually come from Target. I don't drink. I eat candy and Diet Coke. This is, uh, this was two for seven at Stop and Shop. Target does not have its Valentine candy out, and I went to four Walmarts to find a Valentine candy. They all don't have them out. Okay. So this, to me, is a better purchase. They last longer in your mouth. They, they have more chocolate to uh, crisp ratio. I prefer the Nestle Hearts, but it's two for seven, and you, so you're going to have to buy, spend extra to get this experience. That's my take on this. Thanks for coming in, FlexJet. I appreciate it. So that's this. Okay, so, so we got that out of the way. This is what my tray looks like right now. It's a mess. It's a mess. I used to have a tray that said Miss Candy Blog in my old apartment, but then when we moved into this house, um, they stole a bunch of our stuff, and one of them was the bag with the Miss Candy Blog tray. I don't have a tray no more. Ah! I also know how to speak correct English, so pardon my saying no more like slang because it's slang language. Yes! Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Can you handle this? Are you ready for the next candy? Let me know. Put a one, 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 one. Let me know you're ready for the next candy. Put the one in the chat. Let me know you're ready. With Rufus, what is that? Rebel Wedding Planner. Hello, Hazam. Hello, hi, hi. Oh my God, everybody. See me Can you see me some candy? John Walker, hi. You know, certain candies are hard to find. Good and plenty in the bag. Very hard to find in the bag. Very hard to find in the bag. Okay, so Patricia is talking about good and plenty or a candy, finding it uh, in the bag. There are certain iterations. Yes, I just used a $10 word. There are certain iterations or versions of candy that you well, that are hard to find and they do taste differently in comparison. For example, uh, Patricia mentioned the good and plenty, okay, which I did a review of good and plenty. You can check my YouTube channel. And um, good and plenty is not for everyone. If you're older, okay, not if you're not in your teens, let's say. If you're older, you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s. You're going to like licorice, black licorice, more than you would have when you were young, 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 okay? Because your palate changes as you age. So she likes good and plenty in a bag. I This makes perfect sense to me because the packaging changes the taste of the candy. Yes, it does. You take M&Ms in a bag. Okay, the, the bag, you take them out of that bag and you put them in a Ziploc, you're going to get a different flavor experience because the, 
the bag changes, the bag from bag to bag changes the flavor, just like Diet Coke in a can versus Diet Coke in a plastic bottle versus Diet Coke in a glass bottle. Mm -hmm. The packaging changes the flavor. Hello, Sean Michelle. Michael, thank you for being here. Hello, as I'm handsome. It's softer in the bag, the box version. It's so ordinary. Interesting, you know, the pet, mm, it's probably the air probably gets through the box more easily than the plastic, and it is a plastic bag. It's the truth, though. It's true. It's true. If you really are, um, if you really are a connoisseur of certain products, or you really consume certain products a lot, you will notice the changes in flavor. And a plastic bottle allows light in, whereas a can does not allow light in. And the tin from the can, I hate to say this, I'm saying it, probably this can probably, the aluminum from the can probably gets into the soda and affects the taste of the soda. And I like the can better, but I digress. Next, let's talk about triple chocolate M&Ms. This is a Valentine's release. And I found these at Stop and Shop. So I don't know if this is going to be found in Target or Walmart. I was in Walmart. They had their Valentine candy out. I did not see this. So you might find this at Target, but they have it at Stop and Shop on the East Coast. I don't know how far Stop and Shop stretches. New York, New Jersey, we have Stop and Shop. Are they safe? Sounds like a lot of chocolate. I don't know. We're going to figure it out right now. Ha, ha, ha. And I bet they're pretty colors because Valentine candy and Easter candy is always the prettiest. Triple chocolate M&M's. says, a milk chocolate center surrounded by layers of white and dark. Oh, my God. Milk chocolate center with white and dark chocolate around it. I think we're in for a treat. No pun intended. Okay, so the bag. The bag is light purple. It's got red on the cover of it. Yes! And look at the colors of the M&Ms. The colors of the M&Ms, we're going to have hot pink, purple, and red, according to the bag. Yes. Let me just show this over there. Hello, Dadari. That is. Okay. I'm going to assume this bag rips down. Yep. There was an easy to open bag. I bet it smells like chocolate. Heck yes. Wow. Whoa. Okay. And since it's the holiday you know, candy, it's fresh. This is smelling so fragrant. Hey, by the way, I bought a bag of peanut M&Ms that were Valentine flavor. They were so fresh. When you bit into them, it all separated, the shell, the chocolate, and the peanut all separated, and you can, like, eat a whole peanut separately. That usually doesn't happen on the older bags. So check out the fresh candy. Check out the holiday candy. You'll have a different experience, I promise. I hope you have a phone mattress you're buying in case you're running out of chocolate renders you unconscious. Mm, no. Sorry, this is my office. My office. Yes, I said office. Okay. All right, so let's get back to the candy. Wow. It's really very chocolate smelling. Very, very chocolate smelling. I want to open up this bag so you can see. I'm going to get a scissor. I'm going to get a scissor. What color is my scissor? What color do you think? I want to show you what the candy looks like in the bag because that... It's a sensory experience site, and it will let you know what you're working with. You see how? Oh, look at it! Isn't it pretty? Oh, it's so pretty! Yes. And over there, last year, this one looks like pink, red, purple, pink, red, purple, pink, red, purple. Yes. Now, just as I suspected, these M&Ms are bigger than the standard M&M. Okay. Let's use a pink one for a show. <laughs> Why on earth would I pick a pink M&M? I have no idea. None. So this is what the M&M looks like. Beep. Beep. Okay. They're fat. They're fat. I'm going to open. Look what I have happened with me. Coincidence. Standard size bag of standard m &Ms. Hi, John. Thank you for letting me know that. Chocolatey. But the, that bag of all the triple flavors, that was really chocolatey. Hello, G-Tip Legend. I am doing a show right now on Gravy.Live. Sorry. 
not letting you in my stream over there on Insta, and I don't know you, so I really wouldn't let you in my stream because I don't know you at all. So, all right, so here is a red standard M&M. Beep. Beep. Here is the red double, tri triple chocolate, oh, triple chocolate. The triple chocolate's almost triple the size of the M&M, okay? See that? Okay. So this is the standard size one. This is, look, compare them to my eyes. Okay. This one's almost as big as the color in my eyeball. It's bigger, actually. It's bigger than the color of my eyeball. Hey, Shazzy Springs, what's up, Mr. Sugar Mom? Hi. Okay. Now, I'm going to bite this. I'm going to bite it so that you can see what it's like inside because we read on the bag that it's triple chocolate, milk chocolate surrounded by a white chocolate and dark chocolate. So if you have an aversion to watching people bite candy and show them your food, their food, turn away. Now. Okay, this is like thick. Oh. Oh. It's got a hard shell. It's got a thick shell. The shell is way thicker than the standard M&M. Mm. Now, hi, Luis Huerta. Luis, I'm glad you're having fun. That's why I created this candy blog, to make people happy. Here is what the triple chocolate M&M looks like. A milk chocolate center surrounded by a white chocolate ring surrounded by a dark chocolate ring. Can you feel the love? Yeah. Jay Walker, hey! And you can see the shell. Now, let me bite, give you a cross section. Give you a bite, cross section. Standard. Look at the shell. Triple chocolate. Shell, this is, look at this. This looks green almost in the light here. So I'm going to eat this. So if you really wanted to make your M&M last, you could peel it off layer by layer. I mean, the shell, the sh Ooh, look at that. The shell is thick. Do you see that? You can see how thick the shell is right there. So it's got a thick shell. It's got a thick coating of dark chocolate. It's got, yeah. So I don't know if you want to go online and get them. I don't know where they're going to sell them. I got a stop and shop in the New York, New Jersey area. So that's what's going on with that. By the way, if you're over here on live streaming and you don't know what the heck's going on, go over to gravy.live. It is not an app. Put it in your URL. Gravy.live, come and join me. Check out the candy right here. Get in the conversation and vote, baby, vote when there's voting going on. I'm going to be doing some giveaways in the weeks to come. Come on over. All right, let me taste this now for you, really. Let me really taste it, okay? Now, the sign of a chocolate, as I said earlier, the sign of the quality of the chocolate, it's when you put your tongue to the chocolate and you get the taste. How soon do you get the taste? If it takes a while to get the taste, there's a lot of wax buildup on the chocolate, which, yes, they use, do put wax in, on chocolate. Um, but the better the quality of chocolate, the more easily you will get to the flavor of the chocolate. And I got to the flavor of the chocolate pretty quickly just now when I put my tongue to it. So let me really go in and check it out. I'm trying to see if I could taste it. Separately, the milk, the white, and the dark. But I don't think that's going to happen. Hello, Thunder. Your stream isn't working. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope it's not gravy. I hope everybody's right on gravy. This is really chocolatey. I mean, like, I, like to the point that I felt like I was eating cocoa. That's how chocolatey. I'm trying to get the chocolate. That's why I just like did that with my teeth. Thunder, what if you go out and come back in? This is really good. Now I'm going to pop the whole thing in my mouth. Thank you so much, Lexi. I'm going to pop the whole thing in my mouth, see what happens, okay? Oh, it's thick in your mouth. It's thick in your mouth. It's like this in your mouth. Big. I feel like you have a big thing in your mouth. The shell chips away. The shell comes off quickly and easily. 
I can separate this with my teeth. This is the whole play game experience. You can have this for a while in your mouth. You know, if you're on a diet, portion control. Still getting the shell. It's coming off. Wow. The chocolate is serious. It's a big thing of chocolate. And it's really chocolatey. Not gritty. Not creamy, but not gritty. Like a, a thick frosting ish feel. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you see the light purple bag, run and grab it because it's amaze balls. Wow, and you're drinking. Not only is this amazing in the taste and the flavor and the texture, but it provides an amazing mouthfeel experience that you can have it in your mouth a while. If you're on a diet or you're watching your weight, you can do one at a time. You, I, okay, now here's the thing. I don't just eat them and stick them in my mouth. One at a time and then like suck the M&M, suck the shell will come off, then let the chocolate dissolve. It's a big thick hunk of chocolate. Let it all dissolve. You will have a mouth full of chocolate for a little while and you won't want to just keep gobble, blah, 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 blah. So happy new year. Enjoy your new treat. Okay. So that's this M&M triple chocolate. Thank you for sticking with me. And now ladies and gentlemen, now, oh wait, let me get rid of these. What if I just said, let me get rid of these. Ha ha ha. Dumped in my mouth. I eat M&Ms one at a time and people go, God, just stick the whole thing in your mouth. And I'm like, God, that's not why I'm doing the show. Okay. Doing this show because I want you to get the whole experience. I'm not about this is not a show. This is not a mukbang. This is not me just one. Okay, here we go. It's the Lindor Truffle Time. Yes! That's what it looks like. I got this at Walmart. I got this at Walmart for five dollars, I think. I think it was about five dollars. Okay, so come. I never would have bought this. I never would have bought this. It's strawberries and cream white chocolate truffles. Oh, I don't want to open this or eat it. I want to flip and return it. This is disgusting. I got all excited because it was pink. I thought it was chocolate. I thought it was chocolate. I was all excited. I don't want to open this. This is disgusting. I'm not going to eat this. Strawberry and cream. I don't want to. Guess what, gravy? We're going to go on a field trip right now. Okay. I'm going to go on a field trip. I am not eating this. I am not eating this. I'm returning this. But I can tell you this. Look. This right here, it's it's in a plastic and then there's truffles in a plastic. We're going to open we're going to open one of these. We're going to open one of these right now. We're going to go get it right now. Ready? We're going on a field trip. I am so angry. Strawberries and cream. Who the heck wants strawberries and cream chocolate? Gravy, come on, let's go for a walk. The rest of you, sit tight or go over to gravy.live. I got to go on a field trip and get this ball of candy. Let's go get it. Come on. So get it. Everybody over there, come over to gravy.live. Come over to gravy.live. We're going on a field trip. You're going to miss out because we're going on a field trip right now. Gravy.live is the place to be. I'm taking a walk. You're walking with me. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is how I proposed to do my whole show when I originally um, came up with the idea. I was going to do the whole show like, throughout my house and run up and down my stairs and stuff like that. But it's just too hard with all these different things going on. Guess what? Guess what? I have a big lint ball. I have a big lint ball. We're going right now to get it. Come on. Come on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Big lint ball. Big lint ball, big lint ball. Do you think I can get it? Look, let me show you. It's up. It's up. I'm trying to show you the. 
So there, yay! Look, big limp ball, big limp ball, big limp ball, big limp ball. Okay, say right here. No, like lint, L-I-D-N-T. Hello. Hi. How are you? Do you ever want to get really close? Do you ever want to get really, really close? Oh my God. It's crazy. Okay, hold on a second. Here. Look at something pretty. There you go. Oh my God. I can't even get this. Oh. I got it. I got it. Yes. Big lint ball. Big lint. Well, I'm holding it upside down. Holding it upside down. Big lint ball. Big lint ball. Big lint ball. I'm trying not to break my face because I tripped and I went straight down the steps. All of the steps. Candy field trip. Candy field trip in my room now. Candy field trip in my house. Okay, we're back. And we're back. Hello, Stephanie. We're back. I think my pants are falling off. Okay, ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Oh, my pants didn't come off. I have been holding on to this. My husband bought me this. This is a big one. See? Look. See? My husband bought me this. Last Christmas. Last Christmas. And I never opened it. Okay? Because I was like, uh oh, I'll tell you why I didn't open it. Because cause my mom got sick and then and we were moving and a whole a whole thing. Okay? So I never opened this before. And this one is bigger than this one. I'm this candy block. I need these things. I need them. Hello. Okay. So this one is out for Valentine's Day. It is strawberries and cream, which if you were here when I looked at it, you all saw my reaction, which you know I'm not lying because I was totally not having it. Totally not having it. Strawberries and cream, white chocolate. I don't even eat white chocolate. Strawberries and cream, white chocolate. Yuck. Not for me. About five bucks at Walmart. Okay. This, this one, they did for Christmas. They did this size. They did this size for Christmas too. I didn't buy it because I had this one. So let's open up this one. Let me take a drink of water. And it's probably going to be old. Cause it's like, it's definitely at least a year old to this chocolate. Well, we can see how they open these, these ball, you know, how they set, set up these balls inside. So here we go. And it says on it, it says on it, I'm going to show you. It says on it, milk chocolate truffles, ready to use candy dish. Oh, it's a candy dish. It's a plastic candy dish. Cause look, if you look at it, this side is flat right here. Can you see that? You see it's flat. All right, here we go. Can't believe I'm opening this after carrying it from my mom's house to my new house. Okay, here we go. Here. I don't know. I want to show you how, how, how they have a piece of tape right here. Yeah, baby. And it has this. I think I'm gonna have to do this the easy way, okay? I think I'm gonna have to cheat with my pink scissors. This is not easy to cut. Oh my God, I'm gonna break these darn scissors. Who's texting me? They're texting, they're, they're, 
the local area is texting me to let me know about snow. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. How pretty. How pretty is this? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Do you really want this as a candy dish? It's really a plastic ball. It's not that attractive. Now, I'm wondering if the thing inside is the ball is the candy dish or if this ball is the candy dish. Because this is not an attractive candy dish for those of you who are watching. Ooh. How do you open it is the question. I, I don't know how to open this. Ooh, I just got it. Smell it. I'm going to sneeze. That's a lot of chocolate, ladies and gentlemen. This is what comes inside. <clears throat> the big chocolate ball that I've had for over a year. Oh, it ripped. Not good. Not good. That did not smell good at all. They're still texting about the snow. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have told you before when I don't like something, and I've told you before when I like something. Nah. We're going to open it up, though. We're going to see what it looks like. I want to see what it looks like. Are you ready? I've got things flying and falling. Ready? Okay. If you enjoyed that moment, by the way, there's more moments like that on YouTube. Just search for the diet, uh, not diet, the Dr. Pepper chocolate bar. Dry heave. Dry heave. Here we go. Let's open up one of these. This is an old lint ball. Here we go. Yay. Old lint ball from over a year ago. Let's see if it's bloomed from, you know, that it's white from hot to cold. Ah, no! 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 Oh, it's white! No, no, I'm not eating it. I'm not eating it. Wouldn't be prudent. Your nose is itching. You know what that means. When your nose itches, I'm doing for a fight. Let's crack it open, though, because these, these I want, I, there's like, uh, let's see what it looks like inside. I'm, I don't want to bite it because I'll, all right, I'll bite it. I'll bite it to get, get it open. I don't know who Alexia is, Thunder, but it's lovely to meet you. Thanks for coming to my stream. Here's what it looks like inside. Oh, oh, it's crumbly. You're driving back, but still there in spirit. I watch your whole videos. I always love your videos. Thank you so much. It's look, it's whitish around here, and the gob of of filling. Hey, you like white chocolate? Cool. Not this chocolate. This is not white chocolate. This is old chocolate. And look, this is the setup of the actual. You can you got to see what it looks like inside a lint ball. But this is old people. Look, look. I'm showing everybody on the live stream. You want to see this kind of stuff? Come over to Gravy Dot Live. That's what I'm doing these streams. This is no. This is a no go. And as I hold this, it's melting in my fingers. It was disgusting. No, 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 no. Wait till my husband comes home and sees this bag of truffles. He's gonna be like, "What did you do?" Okay, so. So that's the tea with me, Candy. That is what I had to share with you tonight. And we have spent almost an hour on gravy um, alone talking about candy and that. 
what other things do you want to do? Do you have any questions that you have? Do you want to come in the stream? I'm open. The door is open. I don't even know who's here. I think there's a lot of gravy people hiding. Just Other than that, you got to go. Bye, Steve. Okay, I will shut it down. Okay, Patricia's asking me questions. Do candy companies send me candy to review? So it works a number of ways. Um, I've had companies reach out to me and they want me to review their products. Like the last one I did was um, the company. It's short. Hi, Ms. Foxfire. Um, thank you for the star over there. Um, I had a company called It's Sugar, which is a candy store that does a lot of fun candy. They, um, I've worked with them in the past. We did a Sour Patch Kid uh, release of the Strawberry Sour Patch Kid and then the, the big Sour Patch Kids. So they contacted me with the Trump gummies, and I did the Trump gummies, which you can. I don't know if it's on. I don't know if it's on YouTube, but it was definitely on Live Me, and there was about five thousand people who came to that stream. So they contact me or I can contact them. Like, for example, I have oh, about 20 pounds of candy in my, my living room waiting to be opened. And I, have, and I wanted to make sure I, like, the time was right and everything was ready and like, I'm all set up. So I'm going to be doing that. I have candy from candy companies that I'll be unboxing with gravy. With gravy.live. Go over to gravy.live or YouTube. And I will show you those candies. Um, uh, and those are those are candies from a certain place. And I will say more when we get closer to that. So thank you for your question. You're just joining me. I'm Ms. Candy Blog, where candy's always in vogue. I've done three candy reviews tonight. One was really gross and didn't mean to happen that way. So thanks so much for being here. Hey. Make sure you follow me so you stand in wherever I go. I'm going to be doing candy shows 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on gravy.live <clears throat> Wednesday nights. And Sunday nights at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, I'll be doing mental health chats. And I hope you'll join me for whatever one floats your boat or makes you happy or makes you feel better. So, cool, Patricia. Thanks for being here tonight. I really appreciate you. Anyway, this is where I have to first look to see how to end my show, but... <clears throat> I'm going to end my show. Candy kisses. I hope to talk to you soon. Have a sweet.